Michael Irvin. <laughs> you was just watching my video earlier this morning. Which one, which one of my videos was you watching earlier this morning, Michael? Oh, <laughs> oh, the one when I called Mike Prince a backwood tight. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, I be, I be laughing at that so hard myself. Sometimes I laugh so hard, man, I get lightheaded when I talk about him. Man, you know, you only like the second person that I done pulled up on that ever asked me how I was doing. Man, I'm doing great, Mike. How do you two going? Well, you know. We just trying to get 20,000 subscribers right now. Then after that, we going for 40,000, 60,000, 80,000. And then we going to end it at 100,000. That's the goal right now. Oh, have anybody called me for any deals? Yeah. Matter of fact, I just signed an exclusive deal with K. Michaels. Yeah, the Ever Collection. Yeah, these right here, these glasses that I be wearing. These are my official glasses. You can go online and buy them now. They're the official glasses. It's whispers. Yeah, you say, you say, do I mean to tell you that a YouTuber got his own glasses? I'm the first YouTuber to have his own brand. See, Mike, just like you, man, I'm trying to build my own brand. When I go out in public, people see my face and say, that's whispers. I'm trying to make this thing about something. Man, I'm not worried about the right now. This is a marathon. Man, thank you, man. I'm proud of you, too. Right. <laughs> you say you was with your homeboy the other day. <laughs> Who is that? Jermaine Jackson. <laughs> watching my video you just he, he bust out laughing hold on man let me ask you a question what you doing hanging out with Jermaine Jackson anyway <laughs> he was doing your hair Jermaine Jackson do your hair too Hey, man, I can tell, boy, I can see that. Let me see. Boy, you got that Beijing 59. Yeah, that Jermaine Jackson, but you got that dark and lovely. Yeah, Mike, boy, your hair, your hair look like a statue. <laughs> just sitting on top of your head. Yeah, a statue don't move it. Just, that's how your hair look. Boy, your hair is jet black. So what you gonna do when your eyebrows start getting gray? Chop them up. <laughs> you're gonna just cut your eyebrows off boy you're gonna look like a monk right I see that boy you got all three of your Super Bowl rings on yeah 93 94 and 96 boy I watched all them Super Bowls boy you Jay Novacek uh, Troy Aikman, Emmy Smith, Deion Sanders, Jimmy. Yeah, but Barry came in on it. He got a free ride as a coach. Yeah, he got a free ride. He just filled in the gaps where Jimmy Johnson left. You, I know y'all did, but, but you know how Jerry Jones is. Boy, he won't finna let Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, Jimmy Johnson was bucking that old cow. <laughs> yeah, he was kicking them all in his head. He wasn't trying to hear nothing. Yeah, man, I'm, hey, you always do stuff for the youth. I remember when I was going to Dunbar, you came up there. Mike Irvin, you came up there, came in there in the lunchroom, signed autographs. 
Everybody was saying, that's who Michael Irvin right there. Look at him. I was like, Michael Irvin. See, I think that was like your rookie year or something. I had never heard of you. We went outside and you had on them MC Hammer pants. <laughs> that's, when, that's when Hammer was out. You had on them MC Hammer pants and them shoes. Yeah, you got into that BMW when you cranked it up. It crunk up, but when you were driving up the street, <laughs> he, had, he had a whole bunch of smoke coming out the back tail. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember that when I think about you, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah, man, them the good old days. But, uh, man, this is what I want to talk to you about. Man, what is you doing in the press? Man, you all over the press right now. Man, they kicked you out of the Super Bowl. Man, look at her. They told you to get on the airplane and leave the state. They didn't even want you in the state. She lied on you. So what happened? Was she black or white? <laughs> Why you look at me like that, Mike? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you like that white girl. <laughs> Go ahead. Right, right. Right. But one thing about you, I know you just like Tiger Woods. You like working. You 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 like to talk to the people that work at the bottom. You talking to that woman. She's a bottom worker at that hotel. Yeah, Tiger Woods too. He going in the Waffle House. Yeah, trying to make her his wife. <laughs> but y'all boys is crazy. Hey man, I seen the video. I seen the video. On that video, this is what I seen. See, two things a train never do, and you did both. I said, it's a train. Choo, 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 choo. It's two things that a train never do. One of them is stop and make a U-turn and go flat. It ain't got no flat tires, so it keep rolling, and it never, it can't make no U-turn. That's why the train just keep going. What I mean by, if you would have kept going instead of stopping making a U-turn, you wouldn't be in this situation. And then your, you, you got flat, your feet got flat, and you just stood there. A train don't make a U-turn, and a train don't go flat. It got a destination and a mission, and that's where it go. You didn't stick to the code. Now, you should have learned a long time ago when you, when you went inside that courtroom. You remember that? See, you still ain't learned yet. Look look what happened to you. Look when you did your, and not acting bad on your wife when you went in that courtroom. When you, boy, when you had on that fur coat, <laughs> the judge told you, you better not come in here no more looking like Roy Tarpley. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Mike, you stopped. Remember, the train don't stop. It keep going. You stopped. Look, and made a came back. You made a U-turn. It was a slight one, but you made it. See, you should have kept going. You stopped to talk to the help. You, Mike Irvin. You thought that your wealth and charm and you down with the Super Bowl? Yeah, you thought that was going to get you some grinding points, didn't you? Boy, that girl, that white woman said, oh, I got me one now. Oh, and it's on camera. See, Mike, you done lost track of time. You think you still Mike Irvin from back then? You ain't that Mike Irvin no more. Yeah, you ain't like Lamar Jackson and all them boys playing right now. Yeah, y'all be tripping. Like, you and that boy used to be the quarterback from Houston. Just got women coming in there just funding him. Yeah, paying him money. Like, he just, 
Like, he just think he the real. Like, he out there at the Playboy Mansion. And all the women that come in there to massage him, he want a real massage. He can't do that. Mike, listen. Listen to me. Because I can say, so I can tell you finna get hyped and start doing all that hollering. Hold on, I ain't got long. Listen to me. You should have known to leave the white girl alone. No, no. Back in the days when you was messing with that white girl, you should have known then to never touch another one again. I can see you ain't learned. You ain't learned from your mistakes. You still running around here thinking you can do what you want to do when you want to do it. You see Dion. You supposed to be doing what Dion doing, college coaching. Yeah, you supposed to be getting ready to go to the NFL, being a real coach. Man, your name is stained. Yeah, people don't trust you. They look at you like you're dishonest now. And then I'm asking you something. Why are you touching on that woman two times like that? <laughs> Y'all would just, no, you was franchising. Come on, man. Didn't then they tell you, do you seen the movie Life? You over there trying to pitch woo-woo in that hotel room. <laughs> you in there trying to pitch woo-woo. Mike Irvin, you wrong, man. This one right here, man, it's going, I know you saying you didn't do nothing, but ain't no way in the world at your age, much as you done done and it's successful and as rich you is, you still up here trying to defend your name and your character from the bottom of man. Yeah, you over there trying to make love to the dishwasher. Yeah, why you think that dude that was over there in the background at the ball, why you think he started clapping like that? They said he was over. He started clapping like that because he said, oh, yeah, she finally got on one. She probably been saying what she was going to do if one of them big, successful ex-NFL players come. But when she seen you, she hurried up and came from behind her and just started walking and look, and you fell for the bait. Yeah, you became the clickbait. You became the mark. Yeah, you was the number one how to become a sucker in real life. What do I think going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to have to see how this thing playing out. Yeah, we don't know how it's going to go. One thing I know, boy, is that you got a bad case of jungle fever. Ooh, boy, you got a bad case of jungle fever. Yeah, if you ain't putting it up your nose, you're trying to put it on your elbow. <laughs> Kanye one line, he said, when you make it, you go get your white girl and put it on your elbow. Yeah, you don't give a damn. You love all kind of women. Trash, bottom of the hell, white girl, gold diggers and all. Yeah, I'm hungry. Why? Oh, y'all want to go get something to eat? Hold on, man. I left my car parked in the middle of the street. Yeah, when I seen y'all, I said, man, hold on. Let me go get with Mike. Yeah, let me go park my car, man. I'm ready to go get something to eat. All right.